welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Britt. The cameraman is the beard. The beard. Today's video is a collaboration video. It's a crock pot collaboration video. And if you know me, and if you follow my channel for some time, you will know that I love my crock pot. I cook everything in it. Desserts and and breakfast and lunch and dinner. You name it, I've probably cooked it. But anyways, this is my my trusty crock pot. I've got her on low. She gets the job done. She cooks. But anyways, I want to say thank you before I start to the host and co-host, which is Wanda Amechi and Sierra Davis from Just Being Sierra. I will leave their channel links down below as well as the playlist in the description box. And as you come closer, we are making Italian chicken. So you need a crock pot, put your crock pot on low. You need four chicken breasts, which is three, but it'll have to work. Um, one package of zesty Italian mix, eight ounces of cream cheese, and two cans of cream of chicken soup. I am using this because it needs to be used. So I'm using the family size can and then rotini noodles. So, and then also garlic because garlic makes everything better. So I'm going to dump my chicken in the crock pot and I'm going to put in the package of Italian dressing. My whole can of cream of chicken soup. Okay, no, okay. Then a package of cream cheese. I have two spoons in case I needed to pull the stuff out for the um, the cream of chicken soup, but I didn't have to, so there's that. And then I'm gonna put some garlic in there because garlic makes everything better. And this is one of the simplest crock pot meals you can make because it's like all in one pot and done. Garlic doesn't make ice cream better. Okay, almost everything. And you can mix it. If you want, I'm actually going to add a little bit of water into this can of cream chicken soup. I'm going to give everything a good mix and I'm going to leave it on low for four hours. And then when your stuff is done or almost done, go ahead and I'm just mixing, kind of mixing everything around the best I can. When everything is done, you cook your noodles and add them in, and then let them kind of mix everything together, and then you're good to eat. That did not mix very well, but that is okay. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to let this cook on low for four hours, and then I will see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. It's been cooking for about four hours. We just kind of slowly shredded it up quickly shredded it up off of camera this is our rotini noodles they're green because they're the vegetable ones i found them in the back of the pantry so i thought that that would be a good use of our low spend low month grocery budget using everything you have right not letting it go to waste so digging in the back of the pantry is always fun you never know what you're gonna find but then you just mix it all together don't this look good? I mean... Except for the green noodles. I, yeah, <laughs> if we had regular white noodles, I would use those because it kind of looks like pea mush, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, but this is what it looks like. I'm, and I'm just going to show you what it would look like on a plate. We didn't um, add anything else because the noodles are the starch for it, I guess. This is what it looks like on the plate. I hope that y'all enjoyed this super easy crock pot meal. If you make it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you made it and let me know if you liked it. This is our first time trying this recipe, so we'll see how it goes. But in fairness, my kids are human garbage cans. They will eat anything that I put in front of them. They do not care. So there's that. I do not have picky eaters. Except for sandwiches and bananas. Monster has to have those. But other than that, Aiden doesn't like broccoli. But everything else, they're really good about eating. So, there's that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.